Vice President Mike Pence waves to fans before an NFL football game between the Indianapolis Colts and the San Francisco 49ers. AP Vice President Pence walked out of the Indianapolis Colts game on Sunday when some players from the San Francisco 49ers took a knee during the national anthem, and President Trump claimed he gave his second in common the marching orders. I left today's Colts game because Ed Potus and I will not dignify any event that disrespects our soldiers, our flag, or our national anthem Pence posted on Twitter moments after kickoff in Indianapolis. Trump in a tweet said he told Pence to walk out if players don't fail top stand during the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. I asked at VP Pence to leave stadium if any players kneeled, disrespecting our country. I am proud of him and at Second Lady Karen. Trump wrote on Twitter. Later, Pence, the former governor of Indiana, tweeted out a full statement on his decision to leave the game in Indianapolis. At a time when so many Americans are inspiring our nation with their courage, resolve, and resilience, now, more than ever, we should rally around our flag and everything that unites us, the statement said. While everyone is entitled to their own opinions, I don't think it's too much to ask NFL players to respect the flag and our national anthem. I stand with President Trump, I stand with our soldiers, and I will always stand for our flag and our national anthem. About 20 San Francisco players took a knee before the anthem. Across the field, members of the Colts wore black shirts that said we will on the front and stand for equality, justice, unity, respect, dialogue, opportunity on the back. Pence attended the game to honor Colts quarterback Peyton Manning who had his number retired at halftime to the team's ring of honor. He posted a photo of himself wearing a Colts hat and sitting with his wife, Karen, and another of him standing with his hand over his heart during the national anthem. Looking forward to cheering for our Ed Colts honoring the great career of 18 Peyton Manning at at Lucas Oil Stadium today. Go Colts the tweet said. The vice president was unable to attend the unveiling of a statue for Manning on Saturday because he was taking part in a ceremony in Las Vegas for the victims of last weekend's mass shooting. Protests during the national anthem were sporadic on Sunday compared to two weeks ago, when more than 200 players, including some coaches and owners, took a knee or linked their arms in solidarity after Trump urged protesters be fired or suspended. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out he's fired. He's fired Trump said in a speech on September 29. Miami Dolphins owner Steve Ross on Sunday said it's incumbent on the players to stand and really salute the flag, because the president's comments changed the thrust of the protests from social injustice to patriotism. He's changed that whole paradigm of what protest is, Ross said, according to the Sun Sentinel. Three players who knelt during last week's game ran onto the field after the anthem on Sunday before the game with the Tennessee Titans, 